Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Welcome to segment number three on modern cabinet making. In segment one, we showed you how design and concept is done and how that is translated to the CNC that cuts out the parts. In segment two, we showed you how all the finish is done to those parts to build some beautiful cabinetry. And in this segment, we're gonna take you over and show you the installation, the fit and finish. Stay tuned, you'll have a blast. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Welcome to segment number three on cabinet making in the modern shop. Today, we're gonna to take you over to a quieter environment and show you the installation in our garage and the fit and finish. If you miss segment number one and number two, you can visit them by either going to the link below in our description or stick around for a few minutes and click on the end panels. Well, let's get rolling. These were the cabinets that were in our garage that we needed to change out. They took up too much room and they sat on the floor where water could get under them as well as providing a hiding place for undesirable inhabitants. After a half day of installation, you can see the finished results behind Dirt Farmer Maggie and the Lone Pine crew. Well now let's take you step by step to show you how the install happened. Because we wanted cabinets that were suspended off the wall and above the floor, the first step is to install cleats on the wall that have been precisely leveled and attached to the studs in the wall. The crew uses a laser level to assist in the process. Higher and lower place cleats were used depending on the dimension of the cabinet to be installed. After the cleats are all installed, then the installation starts to really move along. The crew began at the end farthest from the garage door and worked forward. The first unit was a tall cabinet, followed by several countertop height units. The work proceeds as the cabinet carcasses are installed along the cleat working towards the entry or the front of the garage. There is a lot of double checking that occurs as Steve and Dave proceed, making sure that the faces of the units are aligned as well as everything being square and level. Now, as I said earlier, a really nice design feature of this cabinet set is that they are suspended above the floor, helping assure that moisture doesn't find its way into the units or we don't end up providing vermin an easy place to hide out. It also makes it a lot easier to broom or spray the floor come cleaning time. Now that all the cabinet boxes have been leveled and securely fastened to the cleat, wall, and to each other, it's time to do the fit and finish. Filler strips and end panels are installed while Shane wipes down and installs all the shelving pins and shelves. Dave and Steve install and level all the doors, assuring that the reveal or the gap around each door is equal and looks just right. Now these guys have been doing this for quite a long time and they move very quickly and they notice all the little things that need a bit more attention to make it perfect. Wow, what a difference between what we had before and what our friends at Lone Pine Cabinet created for us. The cabinet set looks great, it's highly functional, and it'll keep our storage items high and dry. At a later date, we'll install moderate gauge sheet metal tops so that this setup will not only be attractive, but highly functional as well. Well, thanks to Steve, Dave, and Shane for a great product and installation experience. Hey, safe travels, guys. Well there, now you know the whole story how it's done in the modern cabinet shop. The great products are put out in manufacturing spaces like this. I'd like to thank my friends Steve and Chris of Lone Pine Cabinet in West Jordan, Utah, who allowed us to film both in this setting as well as to interact with their great team, many of which are my personal friends. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, why don't you like it? Better yet, subscribe to our channel for other great tips and stories. And if you missed episode one and two, simply follow the link below in the description and you can go to those episodes or just stick around for a few more moments and click on the end panels. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay, dirtfarmerjay.com.